The drag and drop enrichment is a free enrichment based on our maze game. Drag and drop allows a user to move any object on the screen. When that object reaches a designated spot, an action can occur. In this example, I can move Little Red Riding Hood anywhere on the screen. When she finally makes it to her grandmother, an action occurs. The action is defined as the congratulations window. When I click on that window, the congratulations window closes and the game is reset. Now I'll show you how to build this enrichment. In this InDesign file, I have already placed the background image. I'll start out by drawing a frame for the drag and drop enrichment with the rectangle frame tool. Next, I'll drag in the item I want the end user to be able to move. I'll select my Little Red Riding Hood PNG file in Bridge and drag her onto the page. Now I need to define a frame that will launch an action. I'll draw a frame over Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother to define her as the action area. Now I'll select my frame and add the drag and drop enrichment in the AVE interactivity panel. I can first define the frame to drag by clicking on Click and Choose a Frame. I'll choose Little Red Riding Hood. For track, you can decide if you want a track or line to appear as you drag your frame. I'll leave this undefined. For drop destination frame, you can pick roll over or drop in. Roll over means the action will trigger as the character passes over this frame. Drop in means that the action will only happen if the cursor frame is over the destination frame and the user stops dragging and removes their finger from the screen. This is comparable to on-click or on-release functions in InDesign. I'll leave mine set to rollover. For the destination frame, I'll choose the frame I defined over the grandmother. Now I can define the action that will occur. I want a congratulations window to appear. The congratulations image is on a separate layer I named congrats. I have assigned two actions to this frame on tap when it is visible. The first action is to hide the frame, and the second action is to reset the game. I'll hide the visibility of this layer again in the Layers panel. For the drag and drop frame, I can define the action as Reader to tell the layer Congrats to change the visibility to Visible. When I generate the project, I can move Little Red Riding Hood anywhere within the defined space of drag and drop. When I reach the action area I defined, the congrats layer becomes visible. When I click on that layer, it hides the congrats layer and the game is reset. If you're intrigued by what you can do with this game, make sure you check out the maze video to see the many other options that are available in the maze version, which is available for purchase in our store. Thanks for watching.